Nick from Security Pros here, and I'm just going to show you a quick video here on how to factory reset some settings or perhaps factory default your system completely. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to start by going to the main menu. And from here, we want to find the maintain or maintenance. It could be called maintenance as well, but my system here is called maintain. Um, we want to find this menu and click on that. From here, we want to select the manager option on the left hand side and up at the top, we want to find the default tab. Click on the default tab. There's two things here. The first thing is going to be uh, just a plain old default, which is going to uh, you know, default just the, uh, the really, really basic settings. Uh, it's going to set those back to its default position with the exception of network and user management. Everything else will, will, will get defaulted besides those two things. I don't use this often. I, I you know, if there's going to be a, a reason to default something, I'm normally going to wipe everything at once. Um, so the factory default is a little bit more commonly used. You're more than welcome to try a default if we're experiencing some technical difficulties with something. Uh, you can try this without, um, you know, completely wiping the system. Although I do like to use the factory default option. So if we click on that, the first thing it's going to say is all the parameters are going to be restored to factory default settings. Basically, a warning to let you know, hey what you're about to do is going to put the system back to its factory default position. Um, and we're okay with that. We're going to click OK. The cool part here is that it does prompt you to log in as the administrator. So if you have other users inside of here and you're worried that they might factory default it, without the admin password, you cannot do this. So you have to make sure that you're logged in as the admin. And even if you are logged in as the admin, it still prompts you one more time to enter that password just to ensure that it is in fact you, you know, the administrator who is initiating the factory default. So I am gonna go ahead and punch in my password here. And once we are uh, all said and done, we can click OK. And now the system is going to factory default itself. So the system will go through a, uh, a quick reboot phase. It does take about a minute or so for that um, to initiate. And once we're all done, we should be good to go. I'm going to go ahead and speed up the reboot process here. Now that the system has rebooted, uh, we're back to the device initialization. Basically, have to go through the entire setup process one more time. I'm just going to quickly skim through this just to kind of show you what we need to do here. So I'm going to select the United States. Uh, we're going to have to put in a password. I'll go ahead and enter that really quick. Uh, but basically, this is the first time setup just one more time because we did factory default everything. I'm not going to do any of the additional stuff here just so we can kind of fly through this. But yeah, it's going to you know give us an IP address. It's going to show that we're uh, our peer-to-peer -peer is either online or offline. There's our cameras, our hard drive. Uh, that's pretty much it. Now that the system has been factory defaulted, any of the configurations that were previously in place will need to be reconfigured. Um, but I do hope that this tutorial was helpful. And of course, if there's anything we can do, feel free to reach out to us via email or give us a call. Thanks so much.